Yeah. All right, we are, Blake and I are back and we are canoeing down French Creek and the Allegheny River for three days. We just left camp in Utica, Pennsylvania. Uh, we camped, arrived late last night around 11.30 after work and set up camp and just camped at a local campground. Now we're in the canoe and we just hopped in the French Creek. Blake and I are coming up to a bald eagle. We're gonna see if we can get it on camera here. We think. We think, yeah, we can't tell. There was my one, so. There's really no way this camera is gonna capture it, but we'll, we'll try here. Oh, man, stay there, buddy. All right, don't talk. No, it's a hawk. No, that's an eagle. No, it is an eagle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at it, dude. Are you, are you filming that? Yeah. I'm over there. Let's find the clear spot. Let's go over here. Point this over the wall. All right. Blake and I have been paddling about an hour so far. <clears throat> just heading down the French Creek. This is day one, just getting started. <clears throat> we got a couple more days. Look at these bad boys. Blake and I are planning on doing some fishing this trip, so just starting to figure out where and when we're gonna fish and try it out. We've been paddling now for about three hours. Yeah. And we're just about to get to. Um, <laughs> You're filming? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. So, Blake and I have been paddling for about three hours, and we're getting pretty close coming up to Franklin, Pennsylvania which is where we're gonna actually, we're gonna stop at the place we rented the canoe from, meet the guy and pay him. Little so JB. JB. So he, he actually yesterday dropped the canoe off at the campground we stayed at last night. So we were able to just get up this morning and just get, and go. And he's gonna go pick up the truck and drive it to the other end for us. So it's a good deal. But we're just getting close. We're gonna stop, pay our dues and then, uh, eat some lunch and then keep on going. On the Allegheny River, you camp on the islands throughout the river as you go down. So there's a bunch of islands coming up on the way and we'll just find one that's suitable and can't set up camp. It should be, it's only noon now and we've done 10 miles out of the 15 we were hoping to do today. So we'll be done early today and have a lot of time at camp. So we've come to the end of our time on the French Creek and we're at the confluence now with the Allegheny. So the rest of this canoe trip is going to be quite a bit different. Got some kids. Some kids waving hello.
Blake and I are stopping to eat our lunch. What do you got, Blake? I got pepperoni and some cheese and some pretzel crackers. And some, just a bunch of snacks, more or less. Nice. And I went with the uh, peanut, peanut butter and uh, tortillas. It's not that good, really. <laughs> but it's all right. not bad. to camp. <clears throat> the wind's just slowing us down. <laughs> so this is not the island, but it's not, there's three islands coming up. Yeah. That island up ahead is where we're going to be staying for tonight. Blake and I have been at camp now for couple hours and we've just been fishing we've been having some good luck with smallmouth bass we've caught about five total and they're all about a foot or more in length so they're good size smallmouths so we've just been doing that and now we're getting ready to cook some dinner and just sit, by, sit out by the water it's still really windy here so it hasn't been great for filming with this camera because it's just gonna be a bunch of noise Blake and I are just sitting down to dinner. Got setup. the stoves running in the uh, in the weeds here, protected from the wind. I got a boil. What are you eating, Blake? I got the packet gourmet Texas State Fair chili. Excited about it. I've had nice. two of theirs. I had the chicken dumplings and the. Oh, they're, it was awesome. They're great. Good. Shug style. Shug recommended them. And I've got, I got chicken and dumplings tonight, but it's the mountain house. But that's good. Oh, shepherd's pie is what the other one was. That I was love awesome, shepherd's dude. pie. That was, that's the best, like, backpacking meal I've had. Their shepherd's pie. Oh, well, the bugs are coming out. Are they? Yeah. Look at this. I think you can see them in the video. We're gonna give a shit for sure. Blake and I are wrapping up day one of fishing. It's about to get dark. We're gonna head back to camp here shortly and start a fire. I am not even done tying this other bait about the fish. Oh, we're not. We're, we're getting there. We're not done yet. Still nothing but smallmouth. Yeah, but well, lots of smallmouth. Yeah, we've got six now. It's better than nothing. Uh, yeah. In a, in a river like this, I don't know what else we're gonna catch. And a few of those were the biggest smallmouth we've ever caught. Oh, yeah, so, sure. I mean, that was awesome. Yeah, we just kind of started fishing there just for no reason in particular, just because it was... At camp. Close to camp, yeah. That was a good spot, man. I know, they just kept hitting. We didn't think about it. We weren't like, oh, 
this looks particularly good, you know. Yeah. So tomorrow's going to bring even better luck, I think. We got 20 miles of canoeing tomorrow yeah. and as much fishing as we can get in. So today was a good warm up. Yeah, we were getting our canoeing skills back yeah, and figuring out is. how to fish in this area. So we think we got it down. Enough. Enough, yeah. Yeah, down enough. Not even close to really having it down, yeah. but. <laughs> so 20 miles tomorrow and then we'll have one more day after that on our way out. Short day. Here, check this popper out real quick. All right. Look at the action on that lure. <laughs> it's incredible. God damn it, dude. I just ruined the whole scene. It was an awesome first day on the French Creek and the Allegheny. Fortunately, we didn't film that much, but we just had a lot to get done. Mm -hmm. We had so much stuff there it goes. going on. There it goes. Nice, man. Gonna be a bit smoky. <laughs> it's a mix of mud and yeah. mud and wood and grass. We'll film more tomorrow. Yeah. Boom. Breakfast. Just part of waking up. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting packed up. there yeah it's like seven o'clock right now so we're on we're right on time Lake and I just got on the river and we're just getting ready to start fishing a bit we're coming up on a spot called Fisherman's Cove which we don't really know what that is but it's on the map so we're a couple fishermen so it sounds like a, it sounds like a good place for us. So we're just getting started. It's still pretty cold. Yeah, that sounds heating up. Though. I can. I'm starting to feel it. All right. Let's go. Push off, you hoser. Blake and I are still paddling along. Just still been fishing all morning pretty much for about the past two hours, a mixture of fishing and paddling, but we haven't had any luck yet. I don't think we're gonna repeat what happened last night. Unless we get another good camp start, like with a spot like that. Yeah, that was crazy. We, just, we should have filmed it, but I figured. I got, uh, your, your one of your catches on film, the one that Oh, got away. The first one, I think. That's cool. We're in one of the rougher spots of the river now. So Blake and I have been paddling for about two hours since we stopped for lunch. And we think we're about a couple miles from our campsite. <clears throat> so that means we've come like 18 miles so far and it's only 2.30. That would be great fishing right there. We're finding that the speed of the river right now helps us cover a lot more miles than we figured we would. We're also still learning what our speed is really and how to yeah. like gauge. Yeah, we really don't know what distance. we're doing in canoes. I mean, <laughs> 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 this is just a rental canoe that we rented from an outfitter. Look at that, that's cool. <clears throat> But it's been awesome so far today. It's been sunny all day, like 70 degrees, 60, 70 degrees. Crazy amount of wild fish or wildlife this trip. Yeah, 
Five eagles, five bald eagles. We've seen five bald eagles. Two of which, or three of which were, or three of which were today. Yeah. All this morning. So if you get out early in the morning, like 8 a.m. on the river, there are just eagles everywhere. There's some rain. Now it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Damn, this is a little rain cloud. A little more, a little more than it's getting. Yeah. So wait, dude, look, is that cut around to the right like you thought? Yep. Keep my hat on. Why what? are we out in the middle? What do you say? Oh. <laughs> Look, you oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I wouldn't be, this rain will pass real quick. No, it will, yeah, yeah. It's a little harder than it has been, though. So we just got a quick little rainstorm that came through. So, according to your calculations, to wrap around this and the island tree on the other end of the Yeah, so we're gonna wrap around completely Yeah, exactly. Blake and I believe we have spotted home for the night. Those green little green trees straight up ahead. That should be the island we're gonna be staying at tonight. So we're gonna head down the right side of it and go check it out and see what's up. So Blake and I have arrived on the island and we're just walking through it looking for awesome, a campsite. It's really beautiful. <clears throat> Wildflowers and ferns. Here we go. Campsite. Oh my god. Here's our campsite. Even better. Right there. And we're back to get the canoe. our view at the campsite all right so Blake and I have made it to camp we got everything set up here and we're just about to cook dinner pretty much the usual routine yeah plus river plus the river we got a really awesome I mean our campsite we're just looking out over the river it's one of the best I've ever been at. yeah that's awesome but I mean it's five five forty five. Yep. So we got here plenty early. Wow. Just gonna hang out and relax. This is our last night. We got ten more miles on the river tomorrow and then we'll be done. Forty five so, miles? Yeah, yeah forty five yeah. miles was the total, roughly. Exploring the island, looking for potential fishing spots and not having a whole lot of luck. It's a beautiful island though. It's yeah, magical. Just these tall, tall grass and flowers. Wildflowers, mm. massive trees, and teeming with wildlife. Clearly, they love the island vibes. Sycamores, is that what those were? Some of these, yeah. With the white, those are awesome. They're pretty. So we got this awesome tree here that at one point came down, but then continued to grow. Somehow. It's pretty awesome looking. Head back to the other side of the island. We got one. Is it a bass? It's a smallmouth. Yeah, wow, I can imagine that. <laughs> Christian's caught like 45 bass this trip. 
Ooh, that's an easy one too. It's pretty. So that's the smallest we probably caught, or like it's it's a medium. Yeah, not nearly what we were catching last night. No, no, no. But it's nice. Good. That's close to what we get in Ohio. Yeah. What? <laughs> a successful fish. As soon as I turn the camera turn on. on. Hell yeah. Damn, dude. <laughs> you got a full blooper reel. That's the first bird nest. So Blake and I just finished fishing. We ended up only getting that one fish. Now we're just back at camp. Well, as usual, we're just gonna chill out, have this fire, eat a little bit of food, and then we're gonna go to bed. Yeah, man. 10 more miles. Paddle out 10 miles tomorrow, unfortunately. Unfortunately. It was good though, we did good. Yeah, we were surprised how fast we did 20, but yeah. it, it's just this current. I mean, the road, For sure. the river is flowing. Well, considering we don't really ever do this, we had no idea really what our pace would be. Yeah. And yeah, I was surprised by today, by, by today's speed. We got here at 3.30. Yeah. <laughs> 20 miles. With a lot of fishing and... A lot of fishing and lollygagging, and I yeah. didn't feel like I was... I mean, we were working hard, but I wasn't like, we weren't slogging it all day. Yeah, no. All right, so it's morning number three. It's about 8 a.m. and we're gonna set in for the last uh, leg of our journey here. Canoe journey, wrap up. It's 10 miles and we'll be at the truck. So we're gonna Hopefully sit in. there waiting for us. Yeah. <laughs> so. Let's slide on in. We gotta, too bad we didn't get the scenario last night on film. I know. How we managed to get this canoe to where it is right now. <laughs> it looks like it's, it was simple, but it wasn't. I mean, it seems slower today, doesn't it? No, I don't know. It seems intense when you're going up. <laughs> going upstream, yeah. yeah. I like this guy on here though. Got one. Nice dude. Oh, he got off. Oh, little little bass probably. Yeah, it was just a little bass. We got about six miles or so left until we're in Emlinton, which is our last stop of the trip. It was raining a little bit earlier, but the sun's out now. Today's supposed to be the warmest day. Yeah, I gotta take this raincoat yeah. off. I know, I bet you're cooking in that. Not yet. Not yet? All right, let's go. Let's hit it. All right, Blake got one. Reel him in, Blake. Little smallmouth. Oh, yeah. 
It's a beauty. That was the first throw on the, the spinner. Nice. Told you that the spinner would work. I thought you said you didn't have one. This is the bigger guy, the bigger spinner. Oh, okay. There's no room to get my finger in there and the thing out, dude. <laughs> nice. First fish in the canoe this whole trip. Everything else has been from the bank. <laughs> 